Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Muskie. This is my YouTube channel where I give okay advice. That's actually not what I do, I just kind of talk. And today I wanna to talk to you and get your opinion to see how different it is from mine. When I have friends or when I'm asked a question from someone who's, whose goal is to get married, who's not married and whose goal is to find someone to get married, I always say, Ask the person on the first date, on the first date, if you're having a good time, a bad time, I guess if you're having a bad time, it doesn't matter. But if you're, if you're having a good time, the question is, and the question I have asked before is not necessarily to me and not necessarily soon, but are you interested in getting married? Boom. That's it. That's it. And if they're not, and you are, then that's it. There's no reason to keep dating that person who's not interested in spending the rest of their life with you under the uh, sanction of government or God. Maybe they're interested in spending the rest of their life with you without marriage. And if that's something you're interested in, then there you go. But I really think it's important to start the conversation sooner than later. And it's amazing to me how many people are, disagree with that. I mean, to each their own. But there's a lot of people that say, don't ask deep questions right away. You know, don't scare a person off. And I understand that very much. I have been scared off before. I'm sure I've scared off before with my upfrontedness or with their upfrontedness. But not, but not really. I mean, if someone is interested in you enough, they're not gonna be weirded out if you wanna know if one day they want to get married, again, not to you and again, not soon. I went on a date with a guy and he told me, I've probably told this before in like a live or something, but he told me that he was, ugh, that he was into pegging. Do you know what that is? I didn't. It is where a woman straps on a dildo and has sex with the guy, okay? So he told me on our first date and he said that that's what he was into. And I, um, I guess I had never thought about it in my life, so I didn't want to think about it in, I, I just didn't have, I didn't care enough to have a, answer in my mind if I would do that or not. So I was like, oh, okay, got it. Good to know. I went home, I looked it up, I read a bunch of back and forth um, opinions on it, and then I decided that that's not something I'm interested in. And we ended up being friends, uh, but he, so he told me then, and he, he's told me throughout the years, he's married now, um, and, he said that he had just dated women and then when he finally revealed that that's something that he was interested in, a lot of them would be like, no, fuck off, and they would just stop seeing him. So he wasted, the way he invested this time without being upfront about something that he was not willing to negotiate on. And I find no qualms with that. But a lot of people want to like, and get them on the line and slowly, uh, I've heard someone say that when you go on a first date, you send your representative. It's a proxy. It's not really you, it's your best version in all capabilities. You are, you are on your best behavior, which is, which is normal, right? You want to put your best foot forward, but also there's a difference between not being an asshole on your first date and waiting to try to get them to like you or you slowly, slowly tell them true things about what you're wanting or looking for. So I think if there's a man out there that can tell a woman, hey, I really want you to peg me, I don't think it's so bad to say to someone, not me and not soon, but ever, and then, and then go forward. Do you want kids? I mean, I would talk about this on every first date. All of them. Why not? I, I just don't understand. Like what the, what are people, what do people talk about besides, um, 
Well, whatever. What do people talk about on their first date if it's not like the things they are actually looking for and willing to give and want to give and want to receive? <sighs> I'm so happy I'm not in the dating market. Do you know that? I've said it before and it's, it's really kind of rude that I say that, but it is not fun. I hated my 20s, I hated my 20s, hated, 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 hated my 20s. I had fun, I uh, did things, I saw things. I like who I became during that time, I like who I was, but it's just, I think it's because the brain isn't developed and you're still really new to the world, which is really awesome because it's exciting and invigorating and everything is a journey and every win is like huge and you're first and and you learn so much but uh it's just so nice to be a little more it's like your 20s is is dust okay it's like a dusty counter and your 20s you go Poosh! and then all the dust and then when in your 30s it starts to settle or at least you don't need a mask. And then in your 40s, you're you're more calm. I, but uh, I'm not supposed to like getting older because I'm a woman and my life is over. Once I'm past the wall. But it just keeps on, I keep not dying and I keep having like good days. So, I get, at some point, I'm supposed to want to kill myself because of my rankies, but I don't yet. Also, I'm getting older in ways that I didn't anticipate. Like, I was always ready for, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I was always ready for, there you are. I was always ready for those. What I wasn't ready for is this. That. The hell is that? I need like, if I were to get something, I need it so it like stapled up here because the gravity is more bothersome than the, than the wrinkles. Are you surprised about how you're aging? Are you married? Did you talk about getting married on your first date? Do you wonder why you sat through this whole video? Well, you know what? I'm sorry, but if you did, I don't need to hear in the comment section how you just wasted eight minutes of your life. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. I sure hope you're doing good. I sure do. Bye.